Today on the weekly Star Wars News Roundup, more Battlefront teasers, Cancer Sufferer sees The Force Awakens early, another Episode 7 trailer, and much, much more. Monday kicks us off with a story that'll make Star Wars fans wanting to go the extra mile probably quite sad. Several theatre chains, including Cinemark and AMC, are disallowing those wearing masks, donning face paint or carrying toy guns from seeing The Force Awakens. They feel that the other moviegoers will feel uncomfortable, however, you can still dress up as, you know, your favourite stormtrooper. That one there. Just as long as you don't have on a helmet. A teaser trailer for Star Wars Battlefront Battle of Jakku was released on Tuesday. It's obviously quite short since it's a teaser, but it's definitely pretty awesome. You should check it out by clicking on the link in the description. More on Battlefront later. Midweek saw the release of five new The Force Awakens posters, all featuring one single different character. Once again, there is still no Luke Skywalker, but we still have Leia Organa Solo, Han Solo, Finn, Rey and Kylo Ren. What do you think of them? Do you like what you see? Sticking with Wednesday, the Hollywood Reporter interviewed both John Boyega and Daisy Ridley regarding their roles in the upcoming Star Wars film. Boyega talked about his sudden rise to stardom and keeping his feet grounded, the joy of playing Finn and the unique dynamic the character has, and how many lightsabers he has kicking about his room. Ridley discussed how she landed the role of Rey, the struggle keeping her part a secret, the comparisons between her and Rey, the training and dieting for the film, and her relationship with the returning veteran actors. Possibly the most interesting note from the two interviews is that Ridley confirmed you will find out who Rey's parents are in The Force Awakens. It seems like everyone is speculating she's a solo, but maybe she will turn out a Skywalker. Anyway, the link to the full article is available in the description. I recommend you read the full interviews. Back onto the topic of Battlefront, EA released a video showing off the different environments that players will do battle in. To say each location is stunning is an understatement. Honestly, this game looks breathtaking. November 17th can't come quick enough. This next story is a real tear jerker and shows how nice those involved with The Force Awakens really are. Daniel Fleetwood, aged 32 and a massive Star Wars fan, is dying from a rare cancer. He was told he only had two months to live back in July, but he's been fighting ever since to at least see the new Star Wars movie. With the chances of him making it to see the film in theatres looking slim, Mark Hamill and John Boyega pushed for his big dream to come true. After using the power of social media, the two were able to have him watch an unedited version of the movie. To no surprise, Fleetwood was ecstatic and thanked everyone who backed him on social media as well as J.J. Abrams for sending him the film. May the force be with you, Daniel. Now it's time for the Spotlight of the Week, and today it's on The Force Awakens Japanese Trailer. This new trailer does have a lot in it, which we've already seen, but it does reveal a lot more at the same time. This really does have everything in it, a whole lot of BB-8, epic sequences, stunning shots and dramatic moments. My favourite part from the trailer is when you see TIE fighters with the sunset background. It looks so badass. Have you seen the trailer? If so, what do you think of it? Let me know any news I may have missed that went under the radar this week and be sure to come back in 7 days for another weekly Star Wars News Roundup. Feel free to click the video on the left to learn all about Force Powers or the one on the right to find out more about Rey. Thanks for watching and goodbye. So with this we know she has spent most of her life, if not at all, on Jakku and she is definitely not a pushover. <laughs>